Hello, Shenango Valley fans. It's the Warrior Report. It's CV versus Watkins Glen in the sectional quarterfinals at Shenango Valley High School. Let's see how the Warriors did. After a nice pass from Matt Mullins, Mike Ball finishes it off in the paint for Shenango Valley. And then Matt Mullins started hitting threes. He wouldn't stop anytime soon. Mullins with the big three. And then the dish to Matt Bobel in the paint, the rebounding machine, the big man, number 55. And then Fox passed it off to Mullins. Two three-pointers so far. That one goes in no problem. And then Fox with a three-pointer of his own. Ready, aim, fire, the sophomore, Andy Fox. Mullins finds a lane and he knows what to do with it from there. Gets the bucket for the Warriors. And then this one really pumps up the crowd. The and one off the glass. A WBNG top play nominee, but I think this one's even better. Mullins gets the seals, one of his three seals for the game. And one. How about this little move right there? Is that the lawnmower? I'm not sure. He's pumped up. The crowd's pumped up. We're going to take another look at that move. The clap. And then I'm just starting the lawnmower. That's what I'm doing. Well, Mullins, he can start the lawnmower, but he can also hit the threes. There's third three of the night for Mullins. And then it was just crazy Matt Mullins from there. This time the assist to Matt Bobel in the paint. Those two seniors doing the job for the Warriors. Now, pass the time before uh, the second half starts. Chris Mack and Matt Bowler are just going to do some rock, paper, scissors. Then Mike Ball filling in for the injured Tom Hall. Gets the steal, the bucket, and the foul. And as he tries to make a three-point play, can't quite do it, but you know who on Shenango Valley can make three-point plays? Matt Mullins with the three, his fourth three of the night. Are we feeling a fifth three? Maybe some between the legs action for his fifth three. The bench goes wild, the crowd goes wild. Shenango Valley's on fire. Mullins gets the inbounds pass from Kyle Christofferson. He's calm, cool, and collected. He's already hit five threes. He's already had 25 points. Let's see what they can do to end the third quarter. Watkins Glen, that's what's up. Long range three, amazing three. Matt Mullins had 28 points. He'd later leave with an eye injury, so CB's two best scorers, Tommy Hall and Matt Mullins, are on the bench. But senior Eric Bidwell steps up with the big three, and the Warriors win 57 to 40. They face off against top-rated Seton, a tough matchup this Tuesday. Site to be announced.